ammo here. Boom, Kareem Kabam, guys. This is Games Techno back with another freaking video. And in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make gaming YouTube shorts with Vegas Pro. Okay, that was a third. So here we are in Vegas Pro right here. You have to click on File and then New. Okay. So then in the Width section, you have to put in 1080 and in the Height 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 section you have to put in 1920 this is basically the resolution of a video and a video hence is going to be vertical because the width is lesser than the height okay so then you have to change this frame rate right here just click here and then click on 59.94 or whatever if like uh, option for 60 is here you should like you can click there 59.94 and 60 are basically the same thing then go to the full resolution rendering quality and change this one to best okay and then go to the resample mode and click on this right here and click on disable resample so these are basically the settings that you'll be using you can like rename this thingy right here and call it whatever you want i've basically called it youtube shorts and click on the save button right here which will save the template for later use so you can like just come in here and click on this arrow right here and select your template just like that and click on ok now that we've got like a video frame right here we have to select a game clip so this right here boys is a game clip or video game clip it is from Apex Legends modded by the way. So we just drop it right here. Boom. And as you can see, this is how it looks right now. We're going to make it look vertical. Just click on the video track right here, like anywhere on the track really. And then right click on it and go to the properties. Then click on this like button right here, disable resample and uncheck this box right here that says maintain aspect ratio. Uncheck that and click on this one and then click on OK. Now this makes it look a little bit weird. We're gonna fix that now. Click on this button right here that says event pan or crop or alternatively you can right click on the video track and go to the video event, video event pan crop. Boom. And let me just expand this panel a little bit. And now we gotta like, you know, reduce a FOV that we see right here so that is like a lot of stuff crammed into a little freaking place so we're gonna reduce you know this thingy right here now you can either like hover your mouse right here on the right side or on the left side and this is important you have to hold the key control okay just hold the key control on your keyboard and then just drag this bad boy in just a little bit you know you can mm, like just about that and uh, now as you can see the fov is a lot smaller not exactly the fov but the video makes a lot more sense even if the you know things we can see are less but the video makes a lot more sense and looks like a vertical video and does not look like a you know freaking ver horizontal thingy mashed up into a <laughs> or crammed into a vertical frame now for the editing tip that i was you know talking about if you want to see this part of the video it's like completely optional now uh, what most of these first person shooters are all about is the health bar and you know the ammo count or whatever you want to like sometimes show your hud in these kind of scenarios so in this like clip if i lose some health nobody's gonna notice if i kill someone at like one hp well well i am at one hp you know if I kill someone at that, that could be a cool moment for, you know, sharing on YouTube shorts. But in this video, you cannot even see my HP. So we're going to basically uh, learn how to do that. Okay. So to do that, just click on the video track, just like that, and click the button U from your keyboard. Boom. What it basically does is it disconnects the audio from the video. And now you have to right click on this empty space right here. You might have to, you know, scroll down from this area right here to have this empty space. Just click on the empty space, rather right click on the empty space and click on insert, insert, yes, nerd, insert video track. So here we have an, you know, 
empty video track right here you have to like click on this track and control c or you can like right click on this and click on copy and then just go to the top one and let's just make sure that this is at zero 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 and right click and click on paste right here pretty sweet now we have to click on this track once again and go to this thing right here event pan crop or again right click this and click on event pan crop or video event pan crop okay boom here we are now you can click on this thingy right here to move this you know now i'm gonna hold shift and the left arrow key boom 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 okay just about that now you can see like the health bar is right freaking here okay that is why we did this we made a copy of the layer and we placed it on top of it and now we've got a health bar right freaking here okay now hold the key alt on your keyboard and just drag it down a bit and as you can see uh hud you know health bar is right here now you can click this thingy and move it with the arrow key simply but it will do it like a little bit slowly so you can center your thingy right here you have to vertically center it and like I'm, you know, placing it a little down on the screen. So we basically are going to remove this top part of the video so that we can see our main footage that is this one. And then on top of that, we'll be able to see a health bar and stuff like that. You can also do this for this, you know, uh, gun name, ammo counter or whatever you want to do it for. And just click on the cross button after you are like satisfied with this <clears throat> thingy, you know this crop right here rather it's, it's not crop you know then you have to go to the video effects and find out where the crop effect is and this right here is the crop effect you have to drag this default one onto the top track boom and as you can see we can see like these four dots around here we have to just you know pull the uh, required dots so we're gonna pull this one because we want to remove this part of the video and pull it up to this point right about here so just then you can like x out of this one if i show you you know this full screen view of the video now you can see what i was talking about i mean you probably understood it back when i was talking about it we can see the footage right here and we can also see our you know in-game name and our health of the character now you know you can do all the crazy stuff that you want to do add memes to this and like this is not an editing tutorial but it is basically a youtube shorts uh, tutorial with the help of which you can edit your gaming shorts with vegas pro okay so then comes another fun part i mean all of this is fun part isn't it so just you know uh, select the render region right here you have to like click on this yellow thingy and just drag it like from this place to this place or you can like double click on your clip to select the render region there are multiple ways to do that and then you can like adjust it with this yellow thingy right here okay so the point being the render settings click on file and then click on render as okay so here we are from this like left section right here you have to select magix avc aac mp4 now if you're on a like previous version or older version of vegas pro maybe you're on sony vegas even you will find something along these lines you know avc aac mp4 or something like this okay just click on this and select basically any of these We're just going to select, you know, Internet HD 1080p 60i. Okay, so you have to like select any of these and click on customize template. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is change the frame size right here to a custom frame size. And just like we did for the you know project settings, we're going to change this 1920 into 1080 resolution. You know. Uh, and then the height to 1920 boom okay uh, set this thingy profile to high this i've heard improves the quality of the video then again change the frame rate to 59.94 and okay so here comes the bit rate that is up to you basically but i like to keep things at you know 
at an average of uh, 50 million um, bits per second i suppose it is and then the maximum value i keep it at 70 even the defaults one will do but you know i like to have a little bit higher of a value and this changed again okay so you had to like change the maximum value first so these are the settings that i use 70 million and 50 million for maximum and average bit rate respectively okay and then the encode mode is important as well you can select this main concept avc encoder if you want to render the video through your cpu or processor you know of your computer but if you want to do it a little bit quicker you'll uh, have to select this nv encoder this this does it like a lot quicker not a little bit quicker this basically uses your graphic card to render the video so it like just freaking renders it especially short videos under one minute they're like quick quick freaking stuff okay so then select this bad boy right here and by the way you want you have to have a graphic card and an nvidia graphic card for this one i don't know about the amd stuff you know okay then go to the audio settings right here these are the settings that i use 48000 and 192000 go to the project settings and video rendering quality set this one to best okay then click on okay and you have to like browse for the folder where you want to save this footage and just click on render so that was basically it for the tutorial if you like the video please make sure to leave a like for me please 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 okay and if you're having any trouble in the process just leave a comment down below i'll try to help you with the issue Bye bye